came up with a concept for this for this Tron guy costume by going to a science fiction convention that also was a crossover to a computer convention. I went to the first one of them, saw a masquerade. I'd never seen a costume competition before and thought, hey, that'd be pretty neat. It struck me that Tron, being the first science fiction computer crossover film, would be the ideal subject for a costume for that convention. The Internet brought the Tron guy to life by literally bringing him to life. Without the Internet, I would not have been known any more than about 500 people at one convention. The Internet made this character and this costume what it is today, as well-known and as widely known as anything that I've ever seen. Becoming the Tron guy really changed my life. Before, I was just the average computer geek, uh, toiling away anonymously in an office somewhere. After the Tron guy costume became known on the Internet, uh, I have become well known at least among one part of the community, I will never again be anonymous. There will be pictures of me in this costume floating around the net for as long as there is a net. And one of these days, somebody is going to come up with, with a way to synthesize 3D images from pictures on the Internet, and 3D models of me are going to float around known space until there isn't any more. To those companies that do not like the idea of net neutrality, I can only say that Opposing net neutrality opposes the very foundations of the Internet. I've been around the Internet and its precursors since 1987. And in that time, the entire basis for the net was that once you got your traffic on the net, it got wherever it was going as quickly, as efficiently as possible, and no discrimination was made between any source of traffic, any type of traffic, or any other thing having to do with it. 